வெல்கம் பேக் டு மை சேனல் டாக்டர் எஸ்பிங் டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டாக் அபவுட் த பேசிக் திங்ஸ் தட் யூ நீட் டு நோ அபவுட் கம்பைன் மெடிக்கல் சர்வீசஸ் எக்ஸாமினேஷன் இஃப் யூ ஆர் நியூ டு திஸ் சேனல் ப்ளீஸ் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் டு மை வீடியோஸ் அண்ட் கண்டினியூ வாட்சிங் திஸ் ஓகே த ஃபஸ்ட் திங் If you are new, you are going to prepare for a combined medical services examination. Um, this video is going to help you a lot. Um, in this video, I have comprised some basic important points that you need to remember and how um, how to prepare for the examination. Okay. as we all know that we have two parts of examination here first part 1 and part 2 in the part 1 we have pediatrics and medicine in pediatrics we have 30 questions and in medicine we have 90 questions and in part 2 we have surgery psm gynecology and obstetrics each part has 40 questions okay what are the important topics that you need to prepare for this examination in the first part um we have pediatrics and uh, medicine in pediatrics uh, you need to uh, you need to revise or you have to study you have to memorize the milestones social milestones everything neonatal gestation congenital diseases pediatric surgery pediatric emergency medicine pediatric medicine pediatric pharmacology pediatric anesthesiology and other aspects of pediatrics but the most and also vaccines here i have missed about vaccines but you have to remember that vaccine and immun- uh, immunology are uh, two important um, topics in pediatrics okay in medicine we have 90 questions have to remember that for medicine you have to give more importance because it has too much topics and too much uh, systems that you need to remember for example uh, in medicine cardiology respiratory system rheumatology microbiology orthopedics aftal end neurology urology and other miscellaneous okay here you can see that uh, cardiology carries 10 questions uh, respiratory system 10 questions rheumatology it differs it ranges from 5 questions to 10 questions and rheumatology yeah rheumatology uh, ranges from 5 to 10 questions microbiology sometimes it may has psm oriented questions so it has 10 questions orthology may be uh, orthopedics may be um, it ranges from 1 or 2 questions and after all yeah the same 1 or 2 questions ent same when are two questions or one it differs from each examination okay neurology 10 questions and renal urology it has 10 questions a uh, genital urinary system you have um, especially urology um, it has 10 questions and others it may differs from 10 to 20 or 30 questions sometimes so what are the most important systems you have to study in medicine or cardiology you can see it has 10 questions and respiratory system 10 questions renal 10 questions neurology 10 questions and microbiology 10 questions if you Uh, sure 
about this file systems you can probably get uh, for um, correct answers maybe you can get up to 50 questions to 60 questions uh, you can get correct okay first the most important um, thing you have to remember is how to prepare each systems here it's an example for what I have observed from these examinations for the past two years so if you have time go through anatomy physiology pathophysiology microbiology pharma medicine anesthesiology and other other aspects of medicine for example emergency medicine uh, for, you have to separate cardiology into two, two, two parts pediatric and adults so after separating this you have to study uh, specifically about uh, what are the difference between the pediatric cardiology and adult, um, adults okay so pediatric cardiology you have to study about pediatric anatomy what are the differences and physiology once again patho micro pharma medicine anesthesiology and other aspects um, for example in cardiology compulsory two questions uh, you can get from pharma then another one question from micro and two or three questions from medicine and uh, this is part pathology part me you can get two or one question so totally it can mixed um, okay yeah that's it so after After making sure that uh, you you were you you are damn uh, you are sure that you can get right answers uh, or you, you prepare thoroughly each system and uh, the probability of getting 50 to 60 questions correct uh, in general medicine is absolutely possible. Then, but the thing is, you have to remember that uh, not all the questions are uh, direct choices or point to point but most of the questions are multiple choice um, uh, with multiple correct answers so you have to remember each system up to four to five questions it may be direct and another five to uh, five uh, up to five questions you can get like um, multiple choice with multiple answers correct okay so you have to be sure and uh, you have to remember that UPSC CMS examination is going to be tough um, it is it's getting tough by uh, it is getting tough by year and year and um, I hope that this video is helpful for everyone this part is part one in another part I am going to discuss about part two subjects and uh, I hope you all like this video and if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel and give your support your support is must for me thank you